Hello everyone, my name is Michael at MichaelsTutorials.com and in this episode of our login system tutorial series I'm going to show you how to create your MySQL database um, and for now we're just going to create a local host database that means it won't be on the internet for, per se um, it'll just be local and where you are um, but if you wanted to create an online database I recommend Info Servers um, they have two dollar web hosting where you can have your MySQL database and it is fantastic if I may say so myself um, but I'm going to go ahead and get back to XAMPP so go ahead and go to download go ahead and download the whatever version works for you I have Windows I'm trying to see if it's 64 bit it's not showing 64 bit I'll just get the latest one and I'll click here and I'll download and I'll use the direct link for speed. Oh, I'll go ahead and cancel that one. Now I'll open it up and I'll pause while it's installing. Okay, so XAMPP has finished installing and now it's opening its control panel. So if we give that just a minute. There we go. Now go ahead and click on the X on Apache in MySQL. Um, and that'll make sure that those will work. So MySQL is running, Apache is not. Okay, so I forgot that in order to run Apache, you need to close Skype. So go ahead and do that if you have Skype and it's open. Now, we have our PHP admin open, and we need to go over here on the left and click on New. We create our database name based on what we have in PHP. So it has to be the exact same. So under SQL and select from, copy and paste accounts like so and there you go and now we can press create now it's actually lowercase so I'm going to go ahead oops wrong, wrong thing I'm going to create that lowercase and there we go now let's go ahead and create a table um, our table will be called uh, what's our table called let's find out from accounts Oh, that actually is the table. Okay, let's go ahead and create that as our table. Accounts. And four. Four because we have password, characters, and email. And then I want ID so that we can edit what we create. So email. Password. Characters. ID. ID will be AI and unique and this will be var varcare varcare and 50 and then 10 so 10 for characters is 10 character limit um, int is an integer meaning it's a number varcare means um, a string or letters and numbers, you know, whatever. Um, length and values means the length um, that it is. So, yep, that should be enough to explain it. And then make sure your storage engine is EnoDB, um, and then press save. Right there. So if you click on that, you can see that it's good to go. Um, there you go. Now what we need to do is bring our PHP file, if I go ahead and copy it, and then I go into this PC under C, under XAMPP, under htdocs, so put that there, we should be good to go. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and give it a test. So if we open our script, we can type in HTTP, HTTP um, colon slash slash and then 127.0.0.1 slash the name of our script, PHP script, dot PHP. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Um, dot PHP. So create account T. Create account T dot PHP like so and if we go ahead and give it a try right now it should work um, 
like it. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. Okay, so we actually want to change our host name to localhost and our username to root. And then we should be good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the folder and give it another try. So hold on another second. I'm sorry. Okay, we have another mistake in our PHP script. This one's very simple. I had if not email or not password P where it needs to be just password. So go ahead and save that off, put it in your folder. Right now, this is in my folder. I just opened it there. So now we can go ahead and give it a try, and it should work. It says success. Let's go ahead and go into our um, database and click under accounts. And you should see right here that we actually have an account as at yahoo.com with an encrypted password and ID. We can edit it, um, delete it, and you can see that he has zero characters. So, fantastic. It is working. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope to see you again soon.